New information about the deadly shooting at a Burger King in East Harlem. Sources say that a person of interest is now being questioned. 19 year old Kristen Byron Yevez was killed early Sunday morning. CBS News' Leah Mishkin is live at the 25th Precinct with more. Leah. Chris and Mary, the NYPD says that person of interest is being questioned right here at the 25th precinct, like you just mentioned. We spoke to some neighbors of the victim's family who reacted to this latest news. If it is the person, I hope they charge the person. Elizabeth Apontes wants justice for her neighbor, Crystal Baron Nieves. On Sunday, the 19 year old was working at Burger King on East 116th Street when a person walked in around 1 a.m. demanding money from the register. Police say Nieves was shot and killed. I feel bad for her family, my condolences to her family, and I can't imagine losing a, a child. I have three kids of my own. Aponte described the Nieves family as being polite and private. She says Nieves' mom always says hello and goodbye in passing. It's sad that, you know, she had to lose her life at a young age, especially just starting to work, you know, and trying to be productive in life. The community gathered in front of Burger King Thursday for a candlelight vigil. The candles were still burning today. Many passing the memorial stopped to pay their respects. It's a shame because that girl is somebody's, somebody's child and they really should pay for it because that's, that, was, that was evil. Kenya Webb dropped off flowers and a teddy bear. He didn't have to kill no 19-year-old girl. No, no, uh-uh, that's just not acceptable right there. The signs on the wall have messages that read, I wish you could come back, and Harlem will never forget you. Webb says she's upset and can't stop thinking about the shooting. I really, really hope they find out who did that. I do. I'm angry. No charges have been filed yet, but we will bring you the latest developments as we will learn more about if this person of interest is charged or not. Live in East Harlem, Leah Mishkin, CBS2 News. Leah, thank you. Thank you.